That's Lucy and Rachel, yes. the producers, and Michael, the director. <laughs> A little Edie would celebrate tonight. Good question. <laughs> Good question. <Yes. laughs> yeah. She would definitely do the VMI. <laughs> <laughs> um, as I will do later. Yeah. When when you were when you told me that I, I had been lucky enough to get the chance to do this with you, yeah. you came to my birthday party yeah. and. Uh, you cut up a sweater, yeah. and you said, put it on your head later. And I, I did, and I danced around uh, my house, and then I got really scared because I realized what I was about to jump into. Mm. So I, 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 I'll dance around tonight by myself and in freak a out. Sweater, in a cut-up sweater, for sure. <laughs> Very, very good to you. Would the four of you collaborate again with more television? Yeah. Absolutely. We'd love to. Absolutely. So that means you're already thinking about it. What are you thinking about doing? Uh, I, I'm s screwing up this evening in my speech so far, so I'm not sure what we should no, talk I, I about. Th that. I, I think what's important is that uh, you know that companies like HBO are, are, are showing these more intimate portraits and and finding room for these great stories to be told and it's it's uh, you know the marketplace in, in the theatrical world is changing a little bit and going more towards these sort of bigger you know blockbuster and uh, uh, type type movies which are fantastic and people want to see but people still want to see these kinds of movies and so it's it's you know it doesn't really matter uh, you know I don't really understand totally why there's a big distinction especially in the wars between you know, feature films and, and, and television films. I mean, you know, half-hour series and hour series are definitely a different body, but, you know, we made a film, and, and we have, you know, we have movie stars, and there wasn't a thing different on that set or about how we uh, did Grey Gardens than that we would have done had it been a theatrical. So we just really thank tr HBO for treating it like, like the, any other film, and uh, I don't know, the days are gone of sort of, I don't know, small sort of, I don't know, it's like, movies. yeah, like, so, like, or no, but I'm saying of like TV movies being sort of something, B. yeah, very B or C level or something. The TV movies, if you saw the nominee tonight, are all, you know, they're A level movies, all of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, question for the producers over here on your left. Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd like to know if, in terms of uh, pitching the movie, uh, the fact that it had been a documentary and uh, and uh, in another incarnation a very successful Broadway show was was an asset or an impediment. Did did you have to get over the the sense that maybe the story had been told already when you were trying to suggest it? I would say no. Um, we uh, we started collaborating on the this film at the same time that the musical was developing. So in terms of pitching it to most people, they hadn't seen the musical yet. They, we, they were sort of, it was just a zeitgeist moment for the Edies, and they did the musical while we did the film, and that one came out before us. But while we were pitching it, no one had seen the musical. And in terms of um, thinking that it had already been done, I think everyone pretty much understood that we were doing something different, sort of how did they get their version of it. Um, uh, but certainly it was a hard sell, you know. The, the movie stars made everyone take the meeting, you know, Drew and Jessica being attached, everyone would sit down with us, but then we had to say, yeah, it's a movie about two old women in a house with 52 cats. <laughs> and then the truth of that would sink in and their eyes would sort of glaze over and they'd get confused. So again, we thank HBO and, and so much for having the vision. They would say good luck with that. Yeah, right. yeah exactly. Yeah. Can't wait to see it. But I think that there was also a period where, you know, initially um, that was maybe a reaction, you know, from financiers, like we're not sure if the cult status of the documentary film is enough to generate, you know, foreign sales in, in a theatrical way. And when the musical came out and not only cult uh, fans of the, of the documentary came to the, to the Broadway show, but then new fans were formed mm -hmm. for the story mm -hmm. from it, then I think people uh, 
the financiers started realizing that there, there's a bigger market for it, and that if people could be exposed to the EDs and the Grey Garden story, that, that you know, new audiences would be, be built. So I think it worked in tandem that way. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you.